Hi, this is Vivica Von Rosen with LinkedIn to Business, and you might have noticed a few things change this weekend on LinkedIn, mainly the Add Connections button. You used to be able to, of course, add your email connections, which you can still do, and upload a CSV file, which you can still do, and add individual emails, which has gotten a little bit more difficult. So what I like about this screen is it's very clean. LinkedIn, with all its new changes, really does seem to be moving towards that cleaner look. If you want to upload your Gmail, your Earthlink, um, any other type of basically email uh, service, you can do that using these links. If you are having any difficulty uploading your email contacts, or if you use Outlook or some other email service, you can also choose any email. And that will allow you to upload email from things like Outlook CSV files, Comcast, AOL, and you know many of the other options that are out there. You can take a look when you click on See Other Options. Uh, it gives you a kind of a list of what you can do. Now, in order to upload a file, a CSV file, comma separated value for those of you who don't know the lingo, you need to come down here and click on Upload Contacts File. And then you will need to choose the file that you want to upload and then just click on that and upload the file. So it has to be an Excel sheet or a comma separated value or a comma separated text file. Um, if you need to learn more about that, LinkedIn tells you a little bit more. And I actually will give you the steps on how to do that a little bit further down in this blog. Now the other thing you can do is invite by individual email address. So for those of you who are used to seeing this in the blue box on the right hand side of your profile, it's still there. You can still do it. It's just a lot harder to find. So again, in order to find these, you click on any email and then either upload contacts file or invite by individual email. So we still have the ability to do what we did before. It's just uh, not quite as easy to find. So I hope you found this a little bit more helpful than the new LinkedIn changes. And of course, feel free to follow me on Twitter. I'm at LinkedIn Expert. And follow this blog for the latest and greatest tips. Thanks a lot and have a great day.